dashboards provide a way for you to highlight different types of information in one easy to access location, the front page in JIRA. You can have private dashboards or share dashboards with your team. Your JIRA instance also has a system dashboard that only someone with JIRA administrator permissions can change. First, it should be noted that a dashboard is not the same thing as a board. Understandably, people sometimes get them confused, but they do serve very different purposes in JIRA. Dashboards have multiple gadgets that display different types of information. This information may include a list of activity for a project or a set of issues that match a certain priority. A dashboard is a great way to visually represent data from your project or just help people keep a pulse on what is happening in a project or a department. Let's use the customer service department example to look at creating a dashboard in Jira Cloud. On your Jira homepage or current system dashboard, click the ellipses in the top right and then click Create Dashboard. Now the fun stuff happens. We're going to build a dashboard for the customer service team. First, type a name for your dashboard. For example, we call this dashboard Customer Service Metrics. Next, enter a description for your dashboard. If you have a more open dashboard shared with a wider audience, you want to make sure you describe what this dashboard represents. For example, we include this dashboard includes progress and current statistics from the customer service department. In the Start From menu, select an option. You can build a dashboard from an existing dashboard if you choose, but we're going to use a blank dashboard. Moving down the fields, you notice that this dashboard is automatically marked as a favorite. Jira is just doing you a favor here. Marking your created dashboard is one of your favorites so you don't forget about it. Finally, you adjust sharing settings for your dashboard. You start out with a private dashboard, but you can share with a group, a project, any logged in user, or make the dashboard public. For our example, we need to share with the customer service team so they can keep an eye on what is happening in that project. In some projects, you can select specific roles for sharing, but we are sharing with all team members in this dashboard. When you're ready, click Add to update who you are sharing this dashboard with. When you're finished with your settings, click Create. But wait, you aren't done yet. Once you create the canvas that is your dashboard, you need to add gadgets. Moving along from the last demonstration, you see your dashboard with some empty blocks that tell you to drag gadgets or add gadgets. Click one of those Add a New Gadget links to grab a gadget for your dashboard. You see the Add a Gadget window with options to search. There are several gadgets to choose from. Let's look at a couple that you may find helpful. First, let's look at the Filter Results gadget. This gadget is really helpful because it's going to display the results of a saved search or filter and lets you see that information updated on a set point of time. You can also select what specific columns you want to display as part of the gadget. A few ideas for this include your team's open issues or issues that they have in progress, issues that may be assigned to you in a certain status such as resolved or needing approval, and project-specific filters for certain statuses or date ranges. We'll also look at the Activity Stream gadget. This gadget provides updates on what is going on with a project, issue, or user. It can also filter for a certain date. This gadget is going to help you see all activity that's going on and can include multiple streams of information. It's kind of like a news feed in a social media site. We'll use the Activity Stream as our example in this demonstration. You might also be interested in the Assigned to Me gadget to see all unresolved issues that are assigned to yourself. Select the gadget you want to use and complete the required information. For example, we select the Activity Stream gadget. Click Close in the Add a Gadget window to go back to your dashboard and update your gadget. For this gadget, we can set up an on-the-fly filter for a specific project, issue key, update date, username, activity, or issue type. We're going to use a project. In the value field, we type customer service department or select it from the list of results. If we want to add additional items to the filter, we can use the plus sign next to the field we just completed. We can also add a limit to the number of items that appears on our filter, but we're going to leave it at 10 for this example. Lastly, we select to automatically refresh the activity stream so we receive updated data on this dashboard.
When you're all done updating your filter, click Save. You see your gadget on the page. We see the activity stream right now with all the recent updates to the project. We can add more gadgets to the dashboard to help provide even more information for this department. One thing to keep in mind is that having too many gadgets on a screen may be difficult for some users to see, so you do want to keep your dashboard simple but purposeful.